Laura. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that. There was a very faint morning from upstairs. All right. Oh. What do we have? Let's do it. Son of a... I'm still very okay with it, but it's crazy that it's just like... Back and forth, back and forth. 65, 64, 65, 64. All right. Well, I'm gonna make my smoothies. I'm gonna go to work. Here we go. All right, so I'm home from work. I, uh, I was gonna go to the gym today, but I have to go to work really early in the morning. This is test day tomorrow for a lot of students. So, I just gonna make sure I get a good sleep tonight. And then, tomorrow I'll back to work, I'll have more, more energy to go to the gym. Yeah. I'm just doing up my dishes. I, uh, a while ago I ordered a, uh, like, I carry like a briefcase thing, I call it my man purse, but it's like, it's just because it's like a shoulder strap or a canvas bag or whatever, but it's like all ripped and stuff. It's like over a year old, and when I got it, it was old. So I ordered a new one, and uh, it said it was supposed to be delivered today, and Canada Post, I guess, left a, what the hell? Things are freaking out in the sink. Um, Canada posted a delivery notice thing, so. Very annoying. So now, on the way home, I figured I'd stop in, just, you know, simple enough. Grab my, uh, grab my tracking number and I would uh, go pick it up from the post office. And sure enough, it won't be until like eight o'clock tonight. I know for a fact that that woman uh, that delivers our mail. I know for a fact, because she's told me before, she's been our same post office lady since we moved into this house. And uh, she said, she's always done by like 4.30. So that means by 4.30 that package was there, but the guy at the counter was just like, no, it doesn't show up till like after seven. It's very annoying. So I may go back night or I may just wait till tomorrow but I think I'm up to back tonight I don't like when anything is in transit if that makes sense so it's the weirdest thing ever I'm even making fun of myself in my head as soon as I started saying that but what I mean by that is like anything like I send an email transfer to somebody like, I hit send, and I feel uncomfortable until they get it. Like, the amount of times that, you know, let's say somebody owes me $20. Like, oh, I sent you a transfer. Okay. And then, like, you know, that afternoon, I'm like, did you send, like, I always feel awkward, because it feels like I'm kind of like, hey, send me that money that you owe me. But it's like... I always feel a little bit like, did you send that? It's, I don't like it when things aren't, it's, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but I know I used to work at a courier company for quite a while and uh, I know lots of things can happen. Canada Post is pretty good, but I do know that lots of things can happen. Not their fault, just they deal with a lot of stuff every day. Um, any time a package is in transit, a lot of stuff can happen. So I just kind of like to get my stuff out of transit as fast as possible. So dishes are done. All right. Well, I'm going to think about what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to go to, uh, you know, wait another hour and then go to that or if I'm going to go take a shower. 
do my push-ups, whatever I'm gonna do. We'll figure it out. You guys be the first to know. All right. Oh, I don't wanna. One, two, three, four. Damn it. I can never do it with my socks on. My feet slip too much. That's enough. All right. That's not it, but that's it for now. All right, friends, this is it for the day. Um, I just swapped my, uh, my man purse over. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, see you guys tomorrow.